Hello guys, it is Omelette, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a custom story, um, which is the first time I've done one of these before. Uh, so, um, the one I've chosen is apparently a demo, uh, their great work. Uh, apparently it is going to have custom models and such, but uh, it kind of interested me, so um, I think we're going to do that one. So. Start off, uh, give me one sec. Sorry about that. Just needed to start something. Okay, so you are Charles, an archaeologist that's been invited to study a recently abandoned German castle. You are awakened one morning to a tremor running through the castle. There is no sign of your partner who borrowed your lantern before dawn to study on her own. Where has Jane gone now and where did that quake come from? Okay, so that's a little back plot right there, and uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. So, again, they're going to be, as what the creator says, original enemies, but uh, because this isn't the oh, final version... Charles, sorry to wake you. I'm anxious to start digging, but the sun isn't up yet. May I borrow your lantern? You can sleep in. We can discuss our findings at lunch. Voice acting's pretty good as well. Okay, so hmm. Strange. All right, so it's with the wavy screen. Huh. Jane and I arrived at Minenberg Castle at 2.30 this afternoon. An initial glance suggests that the quake badly damaged the castle, but many parts are still in had, had to habitable. The, the eastern wing is largely intact, so for now we are sleeping there. I find it odd that I've been asked to research a building so recently inhabited, but Jane insists that her benefactors have a lot of, to gain here. And surprisingly, they might be right. There have been signs of activity here after the quake and forced entry in parts of the castle. Are they looters looking for family heirlooms? Seeing these signs has renewed my interest, but doubt remains whether family artifact or something else entirely. I'll have to keep studying the castle before making any judgments. Charles Long Den. Alright, Charles. So. This wavy screen effect. I'm not sure if that's the actual. Now, I'm going to be giving my input throughout this demo as to help the creator, because again, it's still a demo, so he can change some stuff, so... Um, I shall see. Hopefully this wavy screen effect goes away and messes with me. Okay, so it looks like we're in a hall. The latch is jammed. Jane's door looks flimsy. Something heavy might be able to break it. Okay. Rock? Nope. Something heavy. Oh, much. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, um... Come on. Come on! Okay, um... That was strange. Can't, and I can't jump? What? Yeah, I can't jump. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's the creator who, uh... Yeah, I can't jump. Strange. Something heavy, uh, well, I... I doubt that would work. Don't you have to throw it against the door? No, there's no way I'm getting that out of here. 
Let's go ahead and press on. We'll see what uh, we can find if we get back here. Mm -hmm. So, is there a reason? I guess he just looked up there and looked at the store. It's locked. Bit of a Whoa. What in the world was that? Did, did the room just dim on me? Wow. Oh, now I can jump. Oh, the... Can't run though. Everything's so far. I have no oil, no lantern, nothing. So something heavy might be able to break the door. Okay. There's like a greenish hue. Did I already go in here, right? Yeah, we already went in here. Did we? Yeah, we already went in here. Isn't this where? Let's try a chair. All right. Oh! <laughs> Knocked the door off the hinges, I guess. Okay. Remove that? Yes, we can. I mean, so far, I mean, this isn't, I, I would think this, so far there hasn't been any jump scares, which I personally absolutely cannot stand cheap jump scares, so it's nice. Just have a Nothing? Okay. And a note. Let's go ahead and move that out the way just in case we need to go in the closet for any reason. Nope. Nothing. A key. Now, whenever I pick up a key or I have a bad... I always have something bad to do with keys. Like a script happens to be run after the key is got, so... Anyways, day two of our studies. Charles continues to astonish me with his eye for detail. I was right to ask for his help. I wouldn't have had a vanishing chance of finding what I needed. He pointed out to me a section of wall in the storage room that doesn't match the rest. It didn't mean much to him, possibly indicating some recent renovations, but I'm almost sure that this is the entrance I've been searching for. Once I find a way inside, I can get on to my reward. Charles has also pointed out signs of vandalism. However... I had my suspicions that I am not the first one they sent here, and this lends a decent amount of cred credence to the fact. None of these signs point toward the entrance, however, which hopefully means my prize is still waiting for me. I'm anxious to return home and collect my reward. Not only that, the castle is still unstable. I'm not sure how much we can, longer we can work it without risking another collapse. So can the quake be a collapse, perhaps? Okay. Cannot use this item this way. Okay, so I'm guessing that uh, we have to go a little bit further. Guys, I mean, I haven't really no comments so far. I mean, it's. He did say there's gonna he's gonna add more detail into it. And I I think it looks pretty good detail wise. A couple of clipping issues here and there. Some stuff I personally would have put, but uh, hey. Um, and no jump scares. That's what I like so far. No jump scares. We don't have a lantern, right? Oh God. Wait a minute. 
I like how the music changes. Now this could be a problem, considering that. Uh, I hope this is a small room. Yes, it is a small room. Some laudanum. Let's watch our sanity. We, I mean, we're doing fine so far. So nothing up there. No. Let's go ahead and stay out here for a little bit. What? Stay in the light, come on. There we go, I guess it's dark over here. There has to be a reason we're in here. Are we looking for, uh, I mean, perhaps a lantern? Nope. Gotta be looking for something. No, nothing. behind the barrels? No. Strange. Um, is there anything on the shelves that I'm looking for? I mean, there has to be... Oh, we're still crystal clear. I... I don't see anything. Nope. Don't see a darn thing. I thought this was a bigger room. Huh. Can we move that? No, we can't. Maybe if we move the box on top. Oh wait, didn't she say, wait a minute, let's go back to our notes. He pointed out, out to me a section of wall on the storage room that doesn't match the rest, it doesn't meet the... Oh, so this is the storage room that they were talking about. The rest of the wall didn't match up with the rest. Huh. Are we to assume that this is probably the way in? Oh, I can't get over here. How do I open it though? Okay, we're having a slight headache now. Hmm. Maybe something in that uh, note. Vandalism. Da, 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 da. Okay. No. So there's a section of the wall which I presume is this because it looks doesn't like look like any part of the other walls. But from what they've said, there has to be a way to get inside of it. And I have yet to see anything that has to do with that. What, no way to open it? No? 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 Uh, well, darn. Um... I might just start throwing bottles everywhere, just... It feels like there's a switch or something somewhere. That would have helped. Maybe you have to light the torches? I think that's the only torch in there. Is there a switch somewhere? This has to be the wall. Let's 
go ahead and bring this box over here. All right, let's uh, move this over here. And no. I'm not sure. Uh, well, section of the wall in the storage room. What's over here? Over here is the, uh, huh. Well, that is quite interesting. That looks like a pretty hard puzzle. Let's see if we could, there's a switch. Is there a, a switch somewhere? Uh, something that we can pull or uh, there has to be something. in our inventory. So let's go ahead and put the oil. Oh, yeah, there's nothing to fill with oil. Okay. Nope. Let's read our... Jane's door looks flimsy. Well, I already broke it. Something's in... Can we break that open, too? Jane, um, oh, thing I didn't mean to do that. Is that a lever? No, that's a hammer. So you go through these drawers. Nope, nothing in there either. Very strange. Let's read that letter one more time for the heck of it. Day two of our studies, uh, he pointed out to me a section of the wall in the storage room that doesn't match the rest. It didn't mean much to him, possibly indicating some recent renovations. But I'm almost sure that this is the entrance one I've been searching for. Once I find a way inside, I can get to my real work. Diary entries? No. Strange. Let's go back to the uh, storage room. That is quite strange, actually. I'm not sure. I mean, I would think there's a switch you have to pull or some type of puzzle. I thought there'd be another torch to light in there, or um, maybe there's something on the shelves. Maybe it's hiding behind the shelves. Maybe I'll just start throwing this stuff out the room and see what happens. Okay, so, we don't, let's get out, let's move all this stuff. Nope, nope, no, um, no. Can we tip over the bookshelf? No. This section of wall doesn't match the rest. Huh. Section of wall that doesn't match the rest. 
Nothing up there? No. No. Um... I mean, did the creator actually get to finish this part? He... Oh! Hello there. Can I... Haha! -ha! I had a feeling. We have to go down there, don't we? The engineers had worked for months, but when at long last they were finished, Hartlib turned the winch. He listened with pleasure as the stones around him hummed with life and the great gears began turning in their cosmic symmetry. I gotta say, he kind of matched the way amnesia would sound pretty good. The grammar is pretty um, stri straightforward as well. It's not hard to understand. Pronunciation is pretty good as well. Oh god, headed pounding. This is really killing me. We don't have a lantern yet, which, in a sense, is also good. This reminds me of a level of amnesia from. Uh, let's move you out the way. This looks exactly like a... Uh, the prisoner, or what is it, the uh... I think it's the prisoner level uh, portion of Amnesia, the official campaign of course. Let's go ahead and open all this first. Yes, can we find a lantern yet? No? Tinderbox. I was so close, the stone was in my very grasp. I barely managed to escape with my life, but I don't know what's become of Hartlib. I fear the worst, thankfully. I not only got away alive, but I managed to take one of the shards. He warned me not to touch the stone. I wish I had listened. At least now I have the good mind not to tamper with the shard, lest I invite again the, the, the full wrath of whatever it was that attacked us. For now, I think I'm safe here. No one knows of this place, not even Hartlit. It was managed. It was meant to be a private laboratory, but now it is my last means of defense. Perhaps, as time goes, I can later risk venturing into the outside world to look for Hartlit, and perhaps attempt salvage our experience. I fear our experiment. Fear for both his life and how much progress has been lost. J. Marie. Okay. So we are about 22 minutes in. Not counting the beginning. Um. Books, 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 and more books. Gotta say, there's a lot of dark areas. Not many, uh, still, we didn't start off with our, start us off with our lantern, so, uh, you know, oh, caving. Oh, God. If there's one thing I hate, are long hallways. That usually doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't bode very well with me, but, uh, what are you gonna do? It's locked. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get back into the tunnel. Go uh, this way. This way is blocked with rocks. Okay, so I guess we're going back. Stay in the light for a little bit. Okay, so what do we have? We have. Uh, 
uh, some oil and some uh, laudanum, but we don't actually have a way to unlock that door. So let's see if, uh, knowing that creator, if you put the lever behind here, I mean, really, he's a crafty little one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he put that key somewhere extremely... <laughs> I find the key under here, that's pretty win, actually. No. Oh, come on. But just to make sure, you know, you don't never want to miss a key. Nope. No, I don't think you put it underneath anything. Oh, I'm over here. No. No, I don't think it's here. Okay. Anything behind here? No. I don't think anything's in here. Can you already open this? There's a tinder box in there, I believe. Huh. Um. Wow. He really does. He's not easy with the, uh. Wow. It has to be a way to break it down. I mean, it looks like it's a prison door. I don't think you can simply... Oh! Jane's been crushed. What was she looking for? Oh, that's Jane. Wow. Any keys over here? No. So far, I mean, the plot hasn't taken any turns for the worse. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It follows the story. No. Okay, so we got the lantern. Good. And that was actually a really nice way to introduce the lantern, actually. I like that. But, that does not solve our issue of trying to open that door. Perhaps Jane... no. I doubt there would be a key along with the lantern over here. That would be a little bit too forgiving. Or too much to give, so... Nope. Not seeing nothing. Is that door open now? I think the door's open. There may be another way back to the surface. Whoa. I gotta say, this is a pretty... So far, I've been liking this custom story. 
the atmosphere is actually really nice. I'm liking it. I'm hoping he can keep that up and he doesn't break it somehow. Have yet to encounter a monster, but yeah, I, I think we're overdue for one pretty soon. Anything in here? No? Okay. Okay, let's stay in the light for a little bit. Can we go in there? Don't think so. Kind of a... Seems like a way out. It looks like, a, are we in like in a laboratory? It looks like there's a... It's quite modern up there. Should we go in there? Great, another section. Jeez. The machinery isn't working. Um... We're about at the 30 minute mark. I think we'll go until 45 minutes. Why not? We'll go until 45 and I'll uh, stop it there. Try and get the most out of you guys. We won't make it too long, but at the same time, don't want to make it. Might as well just give you guys. You know. Good depth of what we have so far. Yeah, if we need to hide in here, uh, there's no way we're going to be able to hide in here, unfortunately. It's just uh, too compact. Nope. Okay, so. A hammer. I'm starting to wonder if uh, <laughs> the creator actually... Um, added any scripted events for monsters yet because uh well i don't even in, in, in the in the uh amnesia story oh yeah yeah i think yeah that was way overdue for one actually <laughs> okay we we gotta hide um Man. Now, some of these custom stories, I'm not sure if it's just, I'm not sure if the creator does this in his, but some custom stories from what I've been told disable the whole monster music. You know, you hear a monster, see a monster, such and and you hear the uh, music change. Um, I think he removed that, so you just hear the regular music. You don't hear any type of special music that alerts you to the presence of a monster. Either that, or what we just heard was a simple sound clip. God, I hope it was a sound clip. We're gonna have to go into that room, aren't we? Okay. Oh. I gotta say, it really is, uh... The atmosphere is... Really, 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 really getting to me now. Um, oh, sorry, uh, sanity. We have almost no oil. No oil. Is there light coming from behind me? Oh god, please don't tell me this is a maze. Okay, um, where are we? 
We are in a machine room, it appears like. It's rusted in place. Can we open that? No. All right, so the machine is rusted, or not the machine, the lever holding it is rusted. Can't seem to turn it at all. So we need to, I guess, grease it up or add something that will loosen it and make it not rusty. Okay, so I think that's it for in here. We're about 35 minutes, so. God. What was that? Oh, man. Oh man. Oh man. That didn't sound like the grunt, it sounded like something completely different. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Wow, I mean that was the cre he's just doing a really he or she they're doing a really 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 good job with the whole uh, atmospheric um, part of the story. The plot is pretty straightforward as well. Um, it's cool, you know, it makes sense. There aren't any uh, jump scares, which in my book is really really good. Ooh, took a nice chunk out that door, actually. Uh, do we want to go back out there? And, uh... And another thing, he doesn't just, like, just hand you oils. He makes you, like, go for the oils, actually. Which is really good. It's not something that just... Oh my god. That was actually really, really, that, that, that got me. Come on. No sanity potions, very little oil in the dark most of the time. Compared to the other, um, well, other custom stories I did before, you know, this first one being recorded, the other stories I've tried, this one I gotta say is one of the better ones so okay I believe he said that in the description he would be using the suitor model instead of the uh, other original um, I guess Uh, what is it? The other monsters. He will be using the suitor from. Uh... Oh, God. Flew out of my mind. It starts with a J. I can't even think straight right now. Uh... Not Jasmine. Not Jennifer. Uh... <laughs> I forgot. Um, the suitor. From the uh, story, there's an extra little DLC story. Yeah, that's for J. That's where we go. Can you think straight right now? I'm just so into the story. <sighs> he 
heating oil, oils, heating bluestone and green vitriol result in an excellent mixture of oil of vitriol. It is quite acidic, but it is a common substance and by no means approaches the level of alkistry. The texts of Parsilis suggest that potash and lime are involved in the recipe, but I have yet to find the perfect mixture. The best I've been able to manage on my own is aqua regia. Aqua regia. That isn't that what? Um, uh, Alexander mentioned that, I believe. Heartlib managed to succeed where everyone has failed. I am missing a critical ingredient. Petroleum. And, if you guys aren't uh, aware, a petroleum could be used to grease up that machine. Oh, an oil of vitro oil. So wait, are we supposed to mix this? Heating bluestone and green vitriol results in an excellent mixture of oil of vitriol. Okay, so I don't think we're doing any type of oil mixing or anything like that. Just we have the uh, petroleum, and petroleum should be able to remove that rust pretty good, or make it unrust, um, unrusty. Let's go back out here. God. Now we gotta walk all the way to the end. Okay, let's go. The oil's almost up as well. Let's go ahead and uh no oil in here. God, it's just it gets to me so much that we don't have any oil. Which is a good thing. in here yes okay let's see what we have here let's go ahead and uh, use that petroleum it needs more force to move no why would I use that okay it needs more force so, considering that we put oil of vitriol on it, if we were to... Oops. What? It needs more force to move. Um, it needs more force. More force, more force. Okay. This isn't going to work, is it? This isn't gonna work. It needs more force to move, actually. Now, when he says more force, I mean, I'm thinking of a number of things that can be used as force. Um, it needs more force to move. Why am I? I don't know why. I tried this already and it's still not working. Maybe if I stand on it and jump? No. I'm thinking really far fetched, but I'm thinking that uh, maybe a, no, a monster wouldn't come in here and hit that for just some reason. It needs more force. What? How can we apply more force? There we go. That would have made a lot of sense rather than trying to, uh... Oh boy. Well, we are at 44 minutes, but simply because, um... I'm in a position where I really don't want to move. 
that barrel, jeez, us. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and light this, right? And we are going to save here. Um, and so far, my thoughts on this story, really, really, really good. I'm actually very surprised, you know, even is even with a demo, I was ex expecting this story to be somewhat um, bland, not finished, but from what I've seen, it's shaping up very nicely. Um, no jump scares, um, serious plot, nothing, you know, funny, or, you know, how I say, uh, humorous type of thing, which I don't really like as a custom story, so, really nice job. Um, I'm hoping to, uh, do another part of this custom story pretty soon but that is not that is it for now thanks you um, thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you next time